Hi. You've probably heard that Scientology is weird. But is it? A lot of Scientologists say, read something by L. Ron Hubbard and decide for yourself. We've done that and I think we've made a decision. The other thing they'd say is try it and see for yourself. I wouldn't recommend it because you don't join Scientology, you get recruited and there's a difference there. You don't make a choice of your own free will. One minute you're, your eyes are wide open and you're curious and the next minute before you know it you're becoming this devoted member. And that's not advisable based on what ex-members say. So, one of the things you'll do when you join is the communication course. And on the communication course, you first of all have to sit in front of someone else. Um, um, just knees are not touching, but you know, so far, you're sitting facing someone, your eyes are closed. Then you have to do it with your eyes open. And any physical manifestations that you get, like eyes watering or burning, or any physical things about the, the, the seat of the chair is starting to hurt your butt, anything is considered non optimum the only thing that's right when you're doing this drill is sitting like this looking at the other person not staring looking so you simply sit like this and you do it until you have a, a good point you reach a good point you have what they call in Scientology a win sometimes they talk about major stable win how you'd know it was stable or not in the precise moment, I don't know, because it could wear off at some point in the future. Excuse me. But when you can do that, and when you do it the tough way, you do it for two hours at a time. So that's two hours sitting there, facing someone, looking at them, not moving. That's what you do. When you've done that, they introduce... Um, words and the first thing they teach you to do is acknowledge appropriately now you may have seen Scientologists saying right got that got you um, that's not really acknowledging appropriately that's actually being quite rude and saying, okay ack is another way I acknowledge you ack um, and then they move on to something called this Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, which strangely enough is a book that the CIA also uses. And this is to teach you to deliver a word, or in Scientology auditing, sorry, frauditing, a command, but it's got to seem natural and as though it comes with you. So you open the book at random and you just choose something that's in speech marks or inverted commas and you say it as though it was coming from you. Now the person you're doing this to has to appropriately acknowledge what you say. So I've just opened the book here at random and I get, did you say fig or pig? Actually I got that the wrong way around but it doesn't matter. And the other person is supposed to go pig or fig. They're supposed to reply or acknowledge appropriately. Or you could say well, I've often seen a cat without a grin. Right. That would be appropriate. It's the most curious thing I ever saw in my life. Really? Is that an appropriate acknowledgement? Really is a question? I'm not, I'm not sure. But anyway, you get the hang of it. So you go, perhaps it hasn't won. Okay. See, it's hard to see the, the like certain standard acknowledgements that you use in Scientology, like all right, okay, heard that, got that, ack. And they're not really appropriate because in real life when you're having a conversation with someone, you can acknowledge someone when you're talking to them by going, Okay, mm hmm yes, mm hmm yeah, carry on, yeah, yeah. But when you do it in a Scientology training session, there's a certain like a falseness to it, it doesn't ring real. For example, The game's going on rather better now. Aye, it is. See, if you said that, they'd go mental because you use like I, you know, but, but that would be a more 
appropriate way of responding to what was said. He might bite. Ooh, he might. Right, as usual. What a clear way you have of putting things. Thank you. That would be appropriate. <laughs> oh, it must be PTS. So that's what you do. You simply go through the book, delivering lines, until you can do it quite comfortably. And Well, I should like to be a little larger, sir. And now, which is which? Come, my head's free at last. That's a good one. It's the oldest rule in the book. Nothing, whatever. So you, you're coming out with these words and phrases from the book, and you're saying them to someone, and they are acknowledging appropriately. Um, there's different levels to the training routines, but when you get through them, you feel that you've achieved something, because you bloody have, <laughs> let's be honest. But is your communication skills improved? Are you able to communicate better? I don't know. I don't know. We'd have to take someone before and after. We'd have to have uh, a way of assessing the person's communication ability. And then we'd have to assess them before and after and say, has this person's ability improved? Because it's my um, belief, based on a few years of research into Scientology training routines and other aspects of Scientology, that it actually doesn't do what it says it does. Um, I know when I did these things over a weekend and I went back to work, I felt strangely superior to my workmates, but I couldn't communicate that to them. So obviously, you know, uh, if my communication skills had improved, they hadn't improved enough to enable me to communicate the fact that I now felt better and more superior than my workmates. Sorry, guys. So there you go. Um, that's a little, a little um, musing on the subject of um, is Scientology weird? Well, what do you think? Does that seem weird to you? Yes. Ack. <laughs>